so so basically we're saying that that so you do see this as somewhat of a religion, but it sounds like it's uh, religion or spirituality only in that it enhances whatever else, what other traditions yep. may already be there yep. and makes them deeper and yep. more meaningful to the yep. individual. Eh? Yep. In okay. fact, in fact, uh, expanding on that, um, uh, Ernest Holmes, who wrote our, our textbook, um, and he was a prolific writer, and he, he was an eclectic reader. He mm -hmm. read all of their traditions, studied them. He was very much influenced by uh, some of the Hindu uh, teachers, uh, Sri Aurobindo, he loved Sri Aurobindo. Um, and, and a lot of that, that, that Eastern uh, mysticism and philosophy filtered into what we do. But he, uh, he said that you don't have to give up your faith tradition to do what we do. He felt if you're a Catholic, this studying what we have to offer will make you a better Catholic. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, if you're a Jew, you know, or a Muslim or whatever. So we're not, you know, it's one of the ways we, we say we honor all traditions because everyone brings consciousness to what they believe. And everybody, you know, if you look at it and you look at the world, I mean, we have, you know, every tradition and we, do, we have it as well. We have your fundamentalists mm -hmm. all the way to the, you know, the far end of being quite open and liberal. And, and I think for the fundamentalists, it's really very much around uh, how they're wired in, in a sense to protect the tradition, mm -hmm. you know, and, and to honor that. And that's one way of showing devotion and, and showing a, uh, a commitment to what's precious. So I get all that, but we honor all of it because if that's where people are, I mean, we need all their traditions. We're not trying to get rid of any religions. We would just like for ourselves as well as others to, to live and express their highest self through that tradition in a way that, that is of benefit to all. So you're, you're, what I'm hearing then is that there may be some truth in all traditions and not necessarily just, um, just your way of looking at life. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Well, that, that goes without saying. But, and, and, and I think that as we get back to talking about practicality, as we talked about a moment ago, it's really how we're showing up in the world. Mm -hmm. you know, it really is how we take these principles and we show up in our work, in our relationships, with our children, with our communities. You know, and, and uh, another thing that I love about uh, what I'm asked to do or I've been given the opportunity to do is I don't have to convert anybody. I'm not here to save anybody. I'm here to do my own work in consciousness. And if I'm doing that work, then I know the right opportunities, the right people, the right challenges, uh, all those things will, will show up uh, for my great good. And there are times when there's stuff that shows up that I think, I'm not seeing the great good in this. So, you know, I need help here. <laughs> God, I need help here. So, you know, right. but, I, I, but I think it's staying the course and it's having enough groundedness in and having had enough uh, uh, opportunities to connect with spirit that, that give you that, that faith base at times to, uh, to stay the course mm -hmm. and to continue to do the work.